Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're watching more Moral Oral, and we're finishing off season one. And if you guys want us to watch season two, get this video to 12,000 likes and check out our Patreon that come out every single month. And you can vote right now on a poll to choose what we watch next. And subscribe and like. I feel like this is this sh this should be a requirement to play in like religious schools man like this show they play this in for kids in detention who like are against god like how many kids do you think stayed up a little too late to watch this show and they like completely lost all their faith because they watched it <laughs> adult swim is responsible for the fall of religion this stupid can it sprayed me right in the eyes i hate it what <laughs> is happening right how f***ing stupid is he god is everywhere really everywhere even in you and me that's right. Why would you tell him that? Why doesn't she just tell him you pressed the fucking can? It is your fault. It sprayed in your face. Don't tell him God's in there. God's polyamorous, man. He loves us all and he's inside us all right now. When you hate something like a poor little can of aerosol spray, be it for the bathroom or for my hair, you're saying you hate God. She's not being very moral right now. I'm not gonna lie. She's not. God is in her tip. And a little shapey needs his milk. How how old is shapey? <laughs> too old. I think a little a little too old. Old enough. Oh, it's more than an honor. It's a blessing. The Godgasm logo is like a dick, but it's also a cross. Cause Jesus is a man with a man penis. As God's son, God would not have given Jesus a cock less than eight inches long. He gave him a nine incher. Yep, I can feel it. Uh, well, history is facts, not feelings. Facts, not feelings? No way she just said that. Ben Shapiro's teaching this class. Did Ben Shapiro watch this show as a kid and got the wrong, like, message from it? Did, how do you misinterpret moral oral? I feel like it's so on the nose. Hello, pearly gay. That is not deep enough to kill him. Gosh. What a reaction of seeing someone try to kill themselves. Let's see. First to St. Martin's Hospital for the broken neck. Then to Freedom County Prison for the broken law. He's getting fucking billed for the hospital too. Canada would never. Oh. Uh, oh. Hot dog. Hot dog, that's when a hot fu- This woman looks like she needs a glizzy to cheer her up. Shinji. Don't say Shinji, shut up. Oral is better than Shinji. He is not fucked up, he is not the lowest of the low. Hey, Chatty Kathy, please. Be a good girl and unplug the torture machine, will ya? I just, she just wants to die. Dude, imagine calling someone Chatty Kathy on their deathbed. Son, imagine my disappointment when I got a call from the hospital and found you weren't sick or injured. <laughs> <laughs> His dad is such a terrible person. Maybe she was a loose woman. Or maybe she didn't love Jesus the same way we do. Isn't Clay Puffington like a mad like Tumblr daddy character? Like there's a lot of people thirsting after this guy. Tumblr just fucking thirsts after the worst animated characters of all time. The morally worst people ever. He can beat me with that belt any day. Fifty Shades of Clay. In fact, the funnest costumes are holy things like generic angels. We should like dress up as priests for the next reaction. Like why, why we're not holy enough. I'll put on a suit and I can role play as a Jehovah's Witness. Jesus guides my bullets straight into the brains and lungs of lawless slime. Wow. Police violence? Wow. Police brutality. Wow. It might be full of monsters and devils. Ah, oh, don't be such a butterhead. It's good to go and be afraid of all that junk. That's true. Well, that's just like what being a kid is. Like you have like one opinion, someone says something else, and you just follow them. Like Oral is the most gullible person on the planet. If you pray, you get your way. If you hope, the answer's nope. He's the fucking right. commandments. That's hilarious. Fire Halloween costume though. But everyone else is the are angels. Because Oral's the only original one. I now pronounce you black man and wife. Blackface? What the fuck? I did not expect to see blackface. What's scarier, a gun or interracial marriage? It's just impossible to be scared of something when your two best friends are Jesus and God. What can possibly frighten me with them on my side? Ever since r slash watch people die got banned, I just haven't really been able to find anything that really gets me going. You can't just break all 10 commandments in one day. God's gonna hate you. Dude, this is the plot of some like, some fucking shitty like Adam Sandler movie, 10 Commandments. We're breaking all the commandments in one weekend, but we fall in love along the way. Starring David Spade and Rob Schneider. Oral gets bitches. What? Easy. Oral gets bitches. 
Just. He's that guy. Oral is that guy. What the fuck? Now show Oral's on the path to being a serial killer. He's. I forget what happened in this episode, but I feel like he's gonna kill a squirrel or some shit. Nope. I still feel God's love. Yeah, yeah I didn't realize how fucking conceited this kid is. God just loves me so much. God, my connection to God is so tight. He gives the vibes of like those really obnoxious like Instagram like lifestyle posters who are really spiritual. I feel him inside of me, warming himself up to me. Dad! Oral, what have you done? You killed him. What? Uh, he just like me for real. I love blaming my vehicular manslaughter on my eight-year-old son. <laughs> Clay gets worse in every episode. He did explicitly murder someone. Is this one of the worst things he's done? I just wanted an exciting Halloween, and I thought being scared of God would do the trick. What a crazy jump. She's immediately like, I want to be scared of something. Let's break all ten commandments. Well, he's always going above and beyond for God's will, dude. That's how much of a fucking Christian shit he is but also remember that the lord's terror is not just for one day you must keep it in your heart all year round you bet this just makes me sad because this like exists in like everyday life like this gaslighting of children indoctrinating them that's what makes it funny because it's true all good comedy is rooted in truth guys even sad lonely men <laughs> eating tv dinner <laughs> I like that. That one doesn't even have like a normal like ending theme or anything. It just ends on him fucking eating his his soft steak depressed. It's funny because I feel like the Reverend ends up being one of the most like yeah he's one of the better characters, good characters in the show. Do you think Kendrick fucks with Moral Oral? I think all rappers hate this because all rappers are like religious as fuck. <laughs> yeah, Kendrick is really religious. He probably doesn't. Kanye's dropping a new album soon. You think he's gonna do a Moral Oral diss track or something? Fuck that Oral. He ain't Moral. That bitch Moral ain't shit. That bitch. Moral ain't shit, but oral is shit. Yeah. Oh. What the? F the relationship, all three of these characters. This is too complicated. <laughs> oh. If they're both cheating on each other with the same person, it's, it's just, just called polyamory. polyamory. Too bad they're not Mormon. Mormon oral coming soon. Hey, Oral, instead of throwing rocks at my dad's car, how about playing with me and Tommy and him? Me and him, and him. And him. Who is he? He's him. We finally found him. Let's grab some baseball bats and clobber them. Wait, is this a gay episode? They're going to do a hate crime. This is where Oral does a hate crime, remember? Has he not committed a hate crime? He's committed like every other crime. You're nice. You're nice. Aw, this is cute. You can't show that on television. Well, they're not showing it. They're technically not showing it. This sure isn't good, is it, Tommy? Tommy, Joey, we should go let Oral's dad know. Oral sure is beating up those gay kids. Let's get his dad to beat him up instead. You're just a striving generational trauma. Hi, Mr. Puffington. Hi, Mr. Puffington. Your son is committing a hate crime right now. <laughs> Are they killing the kids? How long were they beating them for? He's only got a couple bruises? Vengeance! You're Justice. You're nice. The gays win today. Gays always win, bro. Fuck Joe. You went out romping around and gallivanting with Joe, and you never asked those three longtime pals of yours to join in. That's the moral. No fucking way! Yeah, so I gave your friends like 12 shots of rum, and now they're fucked in our backyard. You have to talk to their parents. I'm pinning this all on you, son. Kids you beat up will always come and go, but friends are forever. Wow. I'm putting that quote in my bio right now. I need that shit in like the dentist office to remind me every time, bro. I just hate how Canada doesn't exist in this world. Bro. Canada is a godless land. Dude, we literally have God in our fucking national anthem, bro. It is a god full land. No shapey man! The oral with the gun looks fucking hard. Bro, oral with the gun is in black and white. Got the fucking parental guidance in, on it. Sorry, Dad, but shapey is only seven. You should know better. He's still sucking on that fucking t at seven years old. He's a thirsty boy. Excuse me, family. Daddy needs to powder his bladder. Sorry. Lost 19th commandment. Thou shall not matter. 
masturbate. <laughs> Just right over the toilet. Every time Clay gets tempted, he looks to the right and he's like, fuck! I gotta get that and put it in our bathroom. <laughs> you know they have smoking and non-smoking? They should just have like non-masturbating and masturbating theaters. Ma yeah, exactly. Uh, wow, look, they're all here. There's like no one in this town. It's like 20 people. Dude, this is like 2 p.m. and everyone's fucked at the bar. Like this is the saddest fucking town ever. It's three o'clock somewhere. Here. Principal Fakey is kissing Nurse Blinkley. Oh no, no, not the nurse, bro. Oh my God, not her. Oh, I can think of a few things, honey. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'll give you money. Jesus Christ! <laughs> like I thought, season three got sad. This is—it's already a This is like the most sad fucking episode. When it finally decides to pause, because I feel like the pacing is pretty quick with a lot of the jokes. Yeah. But then when they finally just let something just pause and rest, and you feel the painfulness of the scene, is really funny. Yeah, just like silence. You pig! How dare you! I gave my whole life to you. Well, this is nice for us to understand that, like, Oral's family is not unique in this town. Everyone is fucked up in this town. Wait, you're telling me that Moralton is not a very moral town? We're just figuring it out. The world building is insane. Why would I be on the side of a self-destructive alcoholic? Personally, I'm on the side. Uh, that's my favorite side to be on at all times. I'm a man. So I think he learned that the most important part about being an adult is that you hate your bitch wife. <laughs> you hate your bitch wife, but still allow her to pleasure you every night. Ooh. That's the it? That's the only reaction? He drank that fucking whiskey straight and only did a little bit of a jitter? This kid's 12. At least this is better than his piss. Is this like an upgrade? Because last time he brought shit to school, it was piss. Is it better to have a piss hangover or an actual hangover? I'm gonna have to ask Bear Grylls that question. Bear Grylls is the only man that can answer this. Shut up, woman. <laughs> <laughs> Average spilling the milk enjoyer. Oral, drinking on a daily basis is not the only way to be an adult. Well, I tried not talking about my feelings, too. <laughs> it's not the only way. It's the best way, son. It's the best way you should do this every day. As we endure these hardships and accept them as normal, that's when we finally earned the right to get drunk and be emotionally distant from our families. Like, he says the most psychopathic things, but he has such a pleasing voice. Like, he's fucking demonic. He's like a demonic person, but yeah, it's so soothing. Like, I want to hear an audiobook narrated by this guy. Oh, what's the Christmas episode next? I don't remember this episode. The best Christmas ever. If the Lord. Directors of God's Planimation. God's Planimators! God's Planimators! God's Plan. God's Plan. Drake be biting more oral shit. Since wishing and wishing them oral. I'd like to wish a very special first Merry Christmas to our Jews for Jesus friends. I fuck with the Jews for Jesus friends. They're, they're core, they're sectioned off. The Jews for Jesus segregated water fountains, bro. It's crazy. The live Jews for Jesus reaction is crazy. We gotta get that in the corner of every video. Jewish people react to moral oral. We can just tell this atheist react. This is the new Fine Bros channel that they've been waiting for, bro. But we're not Reddit enough for that title. You know who I'm talking about. Tupac. Biggie. Do you, do you think Oral fucks with Tupac or Biggie? Which one are you fucking with? <laughs> I think he fucks with Biggie, bro. There might be a little child right now running around somewhere who's the second coming. Reverend Putty's VA is also Rigby from Regular Show. That makes it a lot better. That makes it amazing. That's fucking hilarious. Is that true? <laughs> okay, time for bed, boys. All right, son. <laughs> <laughs> Lust guard, <laughs> lust guard six thousand. Oh Dude, that fucking frame of him sad is crazy alone. Well, that's, that's ridiculous. How would he even know? Don't be an idiot. Everyone knows you didn't want him. The mockumentary going on right now. Yeah, this is it, this is shot in a really interesting way. All I do is try to forget. At least you know he's yours. 
<laughs> Jesus fuck, man. This show is so wholesome. Damn. Yeah, it is interesting. Like, towards the end, you're slowly starting to see more of their marital conflict. Yeah, because it's, like, so obvious that they hate each other. But it's, like, slowly opening up over the series. I think that's one of the first times we got, like, a extended amount of character development that, like, Oral himself wasn't directly witnessing. Because the beginning of the show is, like, more from his perspective. But then it sort of branches out to be from a more, like omniscient perspective just like god look just get over it how can i get over it oh <laughs> my god that look is such face. why do you look so fucking terrifying funny there? frame there's so many frames from this show that are just fucking hilarious i feel like you put so many of these frames in a painting or like in a lo-fi like sad music mix <laughs> yeah Christmas morning! All I want for Christmas is my parents to get divorced. I feel like the best option for these kids is for them to put in, like, foster care or something. Like, yeah. Isn't this sick, though? Because if your parents get divorced, like, the day before Christmas, then you get twice as many presents. Why is, like, the cinematography in this episode so fucking artsy and, like, Isn't sad? it fucked that, like, the guy made this show, it got cancelled, and then he's literally hasn't made anything else? I think he does, like, a podcast. He plays fucking Starburns in Community, though. Look, Shapey, I... The apocalypse begins. Yay! He's so hype about that. <laughs> Mom, guess what? Dad isn't Shapey's father. I know that, Oral. Bro, the response to that is so serious. Or Shapies, the second son of God. <laughs> I wish God was his father. Dude, the juxtaposition in this scene is like we're watching two different shows right now. Yeah. What would you give him this Christmas? What do you? This is Home Alone, but your parents just abandoned you. <laughs> but you still have two minutes left, and I have faith in you. No, 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 no. He has faith. He has faith. No. He has faith. Let's zoom out. I can't. He has faith. He's outside of the bar. God's going to make it happen, man. No. God's going to make it happen. No, no don't no. ignore or ignore that next episode. God's no. going to make it happen. No, no. No, no. And if you love God, then leave a like on this video so we can keep watching this awesome show. Thanks to our patrons. Alejandro Paredes, Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Kamalu, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Herb, Diane Stalk, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Granado, Gub Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rot, Gunny Snow Unison, Helio, I Pigged Brett Hand, Isaiah Alford, Kamui, Catherine Wright, Night VDB, Leaf, Lilac Moon, My Artistry, Master Nate, Matthew Byers, Maori, Solomon Graber, Native, Nick, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Kitchen Witch, Him is Best Boy, Rain, Steven Chan Cheese, Sunny D, Tyrant Sills, Toast, Ultimate Parson, Bell Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Line.